Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to my channel. This is Shawty39. I'm coming back at you with an update on the Kinky Curly 24 inch unit that I was telling you guys about. Um, I think I already put the vendor down there. I think his name is Zane or something like that. But if you do need to know it again, I will go look into my account on AliExpress and let you guys know exactly who the vendor is. Um, you already know about the wig itself. This unit is 24 inches, so it is all the way past my bust, okay? Now, yes, I've had a lot of shedding. Um, I'm actually digging in the trash can right now to show y'all how much shedding I have had. And that's just from me wearing it maybe three times. But, um, I'll just put it back in the trash, okay? But, like I told you guys before, it's a lot of hair, so, even though you saw that shedding and all of that and on the first day you saw all that excessive shedding it's still a lot of hair i did go out and purchase me some swab okay captivating curls whipped cream mousse so i did get that to help you know kind of lay it down which is what i was telling you guys once again i'll go into the construction of the cap because i did not take it off and show you guys but it does have the two combs right here. Um, it has your four by four lace right here, and then one comb to the back, and then your two adjustable straps. The product that I was telling you guys that I purchased from my own natural hair is Cantu Shea Butter Apple Cider Vinegar Root Relief with peppermint oil in it, and it's really, really good, you guys. Um, it's very good for like a cleansing, and nourishing your hair. It soothes your scalp, it stops the itching and calms the tension. So, you know, like a lot of times when you have these wigs on your head and you have your stocking cap as well, I know that it itches. So you always like, sort of like people who have weave sew-ins and even the ones that have braids in their hair, this is a very, very, very good product because it really is like soothing because it has like um, the peppermint oil in it. So you definitely feel it soothing your scalp. Um, and so like I told you guys, this was just an update. I will start doing some more of my other units like synthetics, um, some of the other ones, cause I have like boxes and boxes. And like I did say that I was gonna do my giveaway, I'm still doing that. Um, I'll just kinda let y'all pick and choose, sort of like just put them up there and let y'all decide what y'all want, if y'all want them, if y'all don't want them, fine. I know Goodwill and uh, what is it? Uh, Goodwill and whatever other charities they have out there. Um, Salvation Army would love to have those wigs. So, you know, if y'all don't want them, it's cool. I understand. Um, a lot of them are brand new, haven't even been worn, probably never will. So, I don't mind. Anyway, I did, um, like I tell y'all, it has a middle part that to me is about roughly three and a half to four inches. Probably four inches if you go all the way back to here. So, yeah. And I did already put my mineral powder and it did spot all over the place, y'all. I don't know. But anyway, whatever. So, um, another thing that I found out that you can do if you choose to with this wig. And it kind of like, it will mess with your combs a little bit. But, I mean, it's up to you. Um, I moved it to like this side part. Like, I just kind of tilted the... You know like put the combs in and inserted it and had it like a side part so i did use my spacing my parting space and i put it to the side and then this side now that's not the way it is meant to be worn but as i tell you guys all the time if you purchase this wig yourself you know what i'm saying like it's your money do what you want with it so nobody should be telling you well no you can't wear it on the side you can't wear it on the, the left side you can't wear it that way you can wear it whatever way you want, okay? Because that's the way I feel about the situation. I bought it. But I chose to wear it as a party, no party space. Because to me, it just looks better that way. Like I said, when the combs are kind of like this way, it just feels funny to me. So I still haven't like done anything extraordinary with it. So um, I did try to the other day and try to like kind of ponytail it a little bit and you see all the hair like to me i was getting ready to get the mongolian hair but if you look at this i mean it almost mimics it like seriously so i'm gonna show you guys the back this is the back 
Okay, so that's the back of the hair. Um, like I said, it's a lot of hair, you guys. Lots and lots of hair. So if you're a good hair braider, which I'm not, um, you can even like maybe braid it and you know do you some little styles, you know, um, all of that, you know. But I am not a good hair braider. I can't even braid my own hair good. So it's like, you know, basically it's bulky all right here. Um, this has been helping a lot though to kind of like with my natural hair because when you have natural hair, of course, you know, it thickens up a lot and unless you flat iron it, it's like really like puffy. So this has been like kind of taming it a little bit to where it's when I do try to braid a little bit, it kind of like flattens it out. So, um... Once again, like I said, this was just an update. I know y'all guys get bored with updates because y'all more or less want to see some color. I know, uh, I think it was one of those units that I did. Like, I must have had at least close to 600 views just for that one particular wig, and I didn't even like it. I gave it, I think, to my daughter, and she made good use of it. Um, but, you know, I, they didn't send it in the color I wanted it, and I don't believe in, like, paying shipping costs back to get another wig or whatever so it's your fault you make a mistake why should i have to pay shipping costs you pay it so anyway you guys um this is more like an update like i said i did decide to uh not add the lace because you know honestly at night when i go to take this off it's a lot easier for me i don't have to like use all that alcohol and take all that off um because i was using a lot of ghost bond glue and now what I'm starting to use a little bit more of is the Got To Be Glue Gel. And even though it has just this little space right here, it's, it's better, I find, because that little uh, lace, that's all where I put the glue at. That's it. I put the combs right here and a little bit right there. So all I have to do is just take that little bit of glue off. So it's a lot easier, y'all. A lot easier. But I'm not saying stay away from the other or you know, like 13 by four or 13 by six laces because those are very nice as well. I'm just saying that at first I was like, I don't like this wig, remember? But I worked with it and I also um, made me my own baby hairs as I told y'all would because I know I'm a baby hair girl. I love my baby hair. I love it. If it's not there, I will make me some. Um, there's not too many wigs that I haven't done that on. Uh, majority of pretty much all of them I do make baby hairs and that's because I feel like I have a big forehead so that's why I do it but you know it's up to you you know for those of you who are blessed not to have a big forehead like myself then you don't have to do all of that stuff uh, and those of you who just feel like hey I don't even care I'm with y'all on that you know I'm with y'all on that so like I said this is 24 inches it's a lot a lot of hair you guys and it is long very long I mean this is me right here and look so I mean I like it I think it's pretty I'm looking above once again and excuse the lashes because I was messing with them and this one as you can see kind of is different from this one because so I'm gonna have to go out and give me some more lashes actually I do have some but they're just not as long as these so I'm gonna have to give me some more lashes y'all but anyway um like I said, this was an update on the wig, and that's the Kinky Curly, and um, I think it came out all together really pretty, you guys, really pretty. Um, I decided to rock it today. The other day, I, it was a body wave one. I'm still waiting on three more units. One of them is going to be a synthetic one. It's going to kind of mimic this a little bit, but we're going to wait and see, okay? Um, and then there's also the straight one that I told you guys about that's going to be 24 inches and the one that I just, I'm just ready for. Like when I say I'm ready, I'm ready. It's the kinky straight, 20 inches, you guys. I know I told y'all 24, but I went back and looked, it's 20 inches. But nevertheless, I'm waiting because I just know it's going to be the bomb. And the reason why I say that is because I have a Friday night hair one and a GLS 80 that kind of looks like it and y'all like people thought that was my hair like they were just like god like where did you 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 know where did you get this beautiful hair and I'm like this is not my hair you know like I really had to start telling people because I was just like they were asking all the time like oh my god like you're just blessed to have all this hair 
and it's like, no, this time I hear. I don't have a problem telling people that because, like I said, I got hair underneath, so it's whatever, whatever, you know. I just like to rock my wigs because it's the alternative, like I tell you guys, to helping your own hair to grow underneath, you know. So those of you who are like myself, natural hair girls, or even those of you who are braiders, perm, you know, relaxed hair or whatever, and you just want to have a different look, you know, you just want to maybe have a curly look, or you might want to have a straight look if you're a natural person or whatever, you know, this is an alternative to it. And, you know, I noticed that when I used to like hot curl my hair every day, it was just really like frying my hair, frying my hair. And I know a lot of people still believe in doing sew-ins and that's up to y'all. But like I am, like I did sew-ins probably for like five to six years, I think six years straight, like straight just not even like letting my hair take a break just kept on doing sewing sewings and I started noticing all my hair was gone from the edges and then from the nape and it even hit the crown area so y'all I had to go and cut my hair really short and it was a cute little pixie cut don't get me wrong it was the bomb it was cute but all the, the same you know it was just that I had lost all my hair after growing it out so that's why I tell you guys if you want to go with the weave, the sew-ins, do your thing, but just be careful with it. And what I mean by that is, if you're going to use the sew-ins, like, let your hair breathe for a little bit. Like, say, like, say, you know, three months, four months, let your hair breathe. And then once your hair breathes, you know, and when I say breathing, that just means leaving your sew sewing out, you know, and not doing a sew-in and maybe going to this or maybe just doing your own hair for a change uh, without all the heat and all that other stuff then you can put another sew in so at least wait three months because honestly I know I used to have all the sew-ins you name it I have had it and I started rocking these um, I've always like dabbled with the, the, the wigs but I did used to do like half or half wigs and I would take my own hair and kind of just flip it over but I just, you know, kind of got into like doing, well, not really just got into it. It's been almost a year that I've been doing it. Um, just doing like the full, the full wigs, you know, like just the whole wigs itself. But like I said, with the sew-ins, y'all got to be careful with that. Like a lot of people love sew-ins. It's an addiction. But I'm telling you guys, when you do those sew-ins, y'all got to give your hair a break. Give it at least three months. I mean, it's not that serious. You know, the weaves is not that serious, you guys. Give it a break. Once you give it a break for three months, then you go back and you can put your another sewing if that's what you choose to do. But if you choose to go with this, even better because, like I said, you are protecting your hair at night. Take the wig off, y'all. Like, serious. I mean, unless for whatever odd reason you just don't feel like it. But, I mean, let your hair breathe. Let your scalp breathe. It needs to breathe. And another thing that I also do, um, not just like with this, is I take hair vitamins. So I take hair vitamins and also just my regular nutritional vitamins. So I would also suggest that. And I use like my shampoos. These are like natural shampoos. Um, it's Biotin B Complex, thickening conditioner and shampoo. I'm not saying you have to go out and purchase those. There are so many different ones that are out there that you can use to just basically strengthen your hair so use that for your own natural hair because it's not all about just the wigs itself and the sew-ins and all that, but you wanna protect your hair. It's important to protect your hair so that it can grow underneath it. Cause you don't wanna depend on wigs forever. You know what I'm saying? Like at some point you're probably gonna to wanna to rock your own hair. So that's the reason why I say you guys, protect your own hair, use some of this, use some grease, whatever y'all gotta use, but use something to protect your hair, okay? So anyway, you guys, like I said, this was an update. I hope you guys liked what I did with it. Um, I know you're probably saying it looks the same, but no, it doesn't. Because if you go back, the thing was poofed out like to here. Now it's like tamed. So anyway, this is an AliExpress wig. It is from a vendor, I think, Zane. Um, I did put some pictures up on AliExpress. Um, I haven't put any new ones, but I know a lot of people on Ali Express have been asking about this one and about the Body Wave one, and I just haven't gotten a chance to like kind of like reply back. But um, you know, I always try to tell them to come to my YouTube channel, and they can definitely find out more about the wig. But this is it, you guys. There we go. Like, it's beautiful. It's gorgeous. Like, 
Look at that. Really pretty. So y'all have a great day and I'll see y'all next time. Thank y'all and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.